ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 29th of September. James Spann here, and uh, weather looks fantastic. Coolest air so far this season, knocking on our door. Let's look out the window this afternoon, coming from the Skycam Network. The view from Birmingham, that's on top of the Daniel Building, looking south Southeast, a few fair weather cumulus clouds up in the sky. Down in Demopolis, looking right down, the mighty Tom Bigby River is seen from the sky cam on the Demopolis Civic Center. Same story there, mostly sunny with a few fair weather clouds. And the view from Mount Cheeha, just up there this weekend. If you missed my photos, you can see them on alabamawx.com. What a fine time of the year up there. And uh, weather looking good. Water vapor satellite imagery. Here comes our deepening trough. See what's happening? The ridge pumping up over western Canada. The downstream trough amplifying over the eastern U.S. And that's setting the stage to deliver some really nice air later in the week. Notice all the 40s up over Canada. 30s and 40s up there at early afternoon. And the gates will be open for that to drop south. We note International Falls down to 49 at 1 o'clock. And uh, we're looking at widespread 40s here later in the week, Thursday and Friday morning, maybe even some upper 30s for those colder valleys. Here's a QPF chart, expected rain around the country, and this is the only downside here. It's uh, dry, and it's going to stay dry. Uh, no chance of rain. This is valid through Saturday morning. And really, uh, you know, we just don't see a lot for the next couple of weeks here. Uh, the good rains down in South Florida with a subtropical jet stream there, and also around the Great Lakes in eastern Canada where they might see some snowflakes in the mix up there. Tropics Laura, the L storm is out there. It's a subtropical storm, kind of a hybrid out in the middle of the North Atlantic. And that'll just kind of meander and hang a left or hang a right and maybe threaten Ireland this weekend. And obviously, no worries here with that. So the GFS, Global Forecast System, this is valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock on uh, Tuesday. There's the high amplitude pattern developing over North America. Western Ridge, Eastern Trough. Down below that, we'll have uh, uh, the cool front coming through uh, late tomorrow in dry fashion. Uh, the model barely showing a sliver of moisture there down into Tennessee, and that's it. Uh, Wednesday, the trough is deep and strong, and that'll be a day with a high only of maybe around 70 around here. Good north breeze. And uh, Thursday, early in the day, we'll probably do low and mid-40s here, and again, upper 30s maybe for the colder valleys. Bright sunshine, uh, highs, again, only around 70 or so. Friday, wonderful weather for high school football Friday night. The weekend looks good. It's race weekend at Talladega. No problems there. Sunny and pleasant, high between 75 and 80. And for Sunday, same deal. It's a big race day at Talladega. Uh, we note uh, some type of low that's forming off in the Atlantic, well to the east of Jacksonville. But, of course, that's not going to bother us. So, uh, once again... Everything looks good through the weekend. Even Monday of next week now looks dry. We've seen some runs hinting at showers Monday, but not on this run. And we'll peak at the end of the forecast period, the 15th of October. Pretty good-looking vortex setting up over the Great Lakes. That looks kind of uh, chilly up there. And, again, maybe with these fronts from time to time, we might catch a shower. But certainly at this point, the prospect of widespread rain just not looking good for the next couple of weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by... Uh, 7 a.m. tomorrow, and of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.